Today we're playing with Manga using the Wacom Intuos Stylus and Manga 5EX. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine. Think Magazine, put in a geek, you've got Geekazine. And of course, the special media where I interview people, I talk about products, I review products, and a lot of great stuff over there. You're gonna catch all our CES coverage at this location, so subscribe to the channels now. Today I'm gonna be talking about two products. One is a piece of software, and one is a piece of hardware that you use for this software. Now, before Geekazine, I started another website, which I was actually actually drawing comics and I did it on a daily basis. I remember when I got my first uh, tablet pen combo to draw the comic and it was a lot better than it was before. It, it took some time to get used to, but once I got used to it, I was able to do it. Things have changed big time since that time, since 2000 when I was creating that comic. We've got software that works a lot better, we've got hardware that works a lot faster, and we've got hardware that does a lot more as well. And that's what we're gonna show you with these two products right here. First of all, Smith Micro sent me this copy of uh, Manga Studio 5 EX over the summer and I was trying to play with it but I had the mouse and I was, I was trying to work it and it really wasn't working as well. So then I thought to myself, I might as well get myself a Wacom tablet so I could actually use it just like uh, an artist or an illustrator would actually be using it at their desktop. So what I got was the Intuos touchpad by, by Wacom, the one that's actually made for manga type uh, delivery. Now, of course, it doesn't show a screen on, on, the, uh, on the tablet. This is just the $100 level of tablets where you can actually use a pen or you actually use your fingers to do some of the artwork. And of course, we've got Manga Studio 5 right here, which I did a very basic drawing. I'm not going to I'm not going to wow you with my artwork by any means. I can hold my own, but it's going to take a little bit more time and a little bit more practice for me to actually make what a lot of other people make on there. Now, what type of stuff gets made on the Manga Studio 5EX? Well, I've seen comic books, graphic novels. I've seen storyboards for movies. I've seen illustrations, uh, people pitching ideas to companies. I've seen magazines magazine in adverts and a whole bunch more and you could do a ton of stuff with Manga 5 EX um, more than I can actually show you here but I'm just going to show you the basics between both of them. We're going to start with the software Manga Studio 5 EX is made for the PC for the Mac. I've got the PC version right here. It imports everything from Manga Studio 4 into Manga Studio 5 which is great. You can create storyboards, you can actually create each frame and put it in here by just simply going up to story and adding another frame from there and then you have it all in one area so if you're making a graphic novel if you're making a storyboard from frame to frame to frame you can re reference the last one to go to the next one if you're doing some sort of maybe you're doing some sort of stop motion video which a lot of people will do I just talked about a uh, about software that you can use for stop motion put that on there and you can actually copy the frame to the next still and then change something a little bit copy it to the next still change something a little bit you can work with layers inside of Manga Studio 5. So if you need to move the hand, let's say let's say you're doing a video where you're just moving the hand like that, you can actually put the hand in layers, draw me, if you want to of course, put the hand in layers and have it move like that and uh, put it all together and then use a stop motion software or another software to put it all together. Manga 5 Studio EX has a lot of features, a lot of different pens, a lot of different actions. You can put speech balloons or, or other bubbles, expressions, backgrounds, you know, uh, if, if somebody is getting hit with a fist, you can see the fist and a big pow in front of there. They've got all that stuff. Plus they have 3D modeling, and this is the coolest part. I actually drew this from a layer uh, of a 3D model. So what would happen is I, br I brought over the 3D models and I chose the one I wanted to, and then I put it in its position that it was supposed to be in. And then from there, I started drawing my image around it. So I used it as a wireframe to make this. Now, like I said, it's not gonna be perfect, but you know, it's a lot better than if I'm 
free thinking it as I'm drawing. So if you have some pose that you really need to keep things in, or maybe even a reoccurring pose of a person uh, and you have to draw it again and again and again, you can use those wireframes to position them up. Maybe you draw me, you draw somebody else's face, and you can have that same wireframe so you know where the nose goes, so it doesn't look out of place, the ear doesn't look out of place, or anything else. Now another feature that Manga Studio 5 EX has is what's called tags. Just like tagging anything else on the web, on your computer, so you can easily find it. So you find those tags, you say, I want this tag, this tag, this tag, and you've got the stuff that you need to pull out, you pull it out and you start drawing from there. Lots of graphic artists are using Manga Studio 5 to create their graphic novels, to create their storyboards, and lots of cool stuff coming from this software. You can check it all out um, over on their website, which is over at manga.smithmicro.com, and you can check it from there. The name of the software is Manga Studio. It's by Smith Micro. You have 5 and you have 5EX. 5 is actually under $100, whereas the 5EX costs a little bit more, but you get a little bit more with it. All right, let's talk about the tablet side of things. What we have here is the Wacom Intuos, which is designed, of course, this is the mang manga version. There's three different versions you can get there. These are all under $100, which is really cool. And of course, you can set that up through USB or for an extra extra price, you can actually get a wireless. And, and of course, the wireless just sits right here. You flip up this little packet part right here and it just sits right here. You put the wireless in, you put wireless onto your computer so you can read it. And of course, uh, if you purchase that package, it comes with both dongles so you can uh, hook up your regular PC or if your Mac already has it you can go through the Bluetooth there so once you have that set up you have all the drivers installed you put it on you set it down I like to set it right in front of the keyboard so I can get some work done then you have the stylus now there's different ways you can use this thing you can use it using your fingers as you can see I'm just touching things and I can move things around I can resize things with simple two fingers moves around uh, turns around and stuff like that there are buttons right on the uh, on the touchpad right there, so I can do a left click, right click. There's also uh, a couple buttons here on the pen, which I can do some stuff. And of course, once it realizes it's close to the tablet, it'll start it'll start recognizing it. You'll be able to start drawing right away, as you can see. I'm drawing. Let's see. Let's do some eyebrows and that's just a free form uh, uh, video here and we can do some simple drawing right here of a person just uh, smiling in a way and let's put some eyes on them it kind of look a little bit villainous but you know that's how it goes and then i can flip it around and i can use this just like the eraser or whatever tool i, I designate this to be and i can actually just erase some of that uh, some of that or all of it as as we go some other features that this has, that the software has on this, is the ability to tap for keyboard. So if you don't have a keyboard in front of you, you can do a touch keyboard and then uh, and then type out your stuff right there if you want to. Um, you can do a split keyboard or a writing keyboard. So I can go like that and then say hi, like that. And yeah, well, it figured it as try. I'm, I'm writing it wrong. Let's do it that way. Hi. And of course it shows high and I can insert that right into the uh, into there as I want to. Is this is a great little device because this one right here is under a hundred dollars. If you want the Wi-Fi attachment, it's another uh, 40, 50 dollars right there, depending on where you get it. But it's a great way for you to actually get into your drawing a little bit more. And sometimes I go back and forth between the mouse because uh, I'm so used to the mouse. But then I can get used to this uh, this pen and I can really get some work done. It's called Intuos, it's by Wacom, and it is in stores now. Now, like I said, I, it's been a while since I've done some drawing this way. I'm so used to doing mouse drawing, but I, now that I've got these, I'm gonna do a little bit more so I can do some more illustrations over on geekizine.com and every all my other uh, websites there. But what would you use it for? I mean, the Wacom tablet you can use with most drawing programs. You don't even need a drawing program. You could probably even use it in another program that you need more precision for that doesn't have anything to do with drawing. And of course you have Manga Studio 5 EX, which is a great program in itself, creating layers, creating drawings for those graphic novels, being able to color it in, and making your own stuff, your own storyboards, or whatever. 
I'm gonna have some more fun uh, playing with that as well. What do you use for drawing programs? What do you use for uh, tablets or anything like that to do your drawing? Or what do you use for technology in itself? Let me know. You can Twitter me over at Geekazine. Of course, Geekazine at gmail.com is the email address. If you've got a product that you want me to review or take a look at, or if you uh, want to talk to me about something in technology, let's talk and go from there. We'll be back next week. we got some more products that just came in uh, in the Geeky Zine studio, so I'll do some more reviews from there. Gearing up for CES 2014. Lots of video coming from there January to March and lots of cool products. So keep an eye out on this channel. Of course, subscribe to the channel over on youtube.com forward slash Geekazine and you'll get all those videos right then and there into your inbox. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching. We will see you next time on the Geekazine Review where we'll have another cool product to review. Take care.